Basically, we were selling the guy's house. He was taking that money and then he was buying another house. And he had like a week in between. He was gonna take the money out of the house that he sold and he was gonna put it into a bank account for like three days or four days because the bank was gonna give him a, you know, say a half a point off the interest rate for depositing that money into the account for four days. And then he was gonna to have to take that money out and he was gonna to have to buy the house a week later. And when you put the money in, they froze it because his name matched a terrorist in Shanghai and you know they wanted to see if it was money laundering, etc. So they froze the money, ended up getting the money released, not a big deal, you know, had the money ready for the next closing go to the next closing, go do the transfer on the purchase, and the exact same thing comes up again. Now we're waiting in the closing room for like six hours. They can't figure it out. They're like, you know what? We're just gonna have to figure this out tomorrow. Hopefully by then everything will be situated. And as we're walking out of the room, they're like, money got cleared, everything is all good, and you know, we got the house. But just like a funny story about a closing and how like, you know, you hear about these, maybe like a closing horror story or something like that.